Good day, I'm Keith Beresford. I work for ABB's Open Control Systems Group based out of the UK. And I'd like to talk to you about ABB's Compact HMI 800 product for top of the line connection to PLC or SCADA packages in the production environment. I'm continuing down the theme of integration, scalability, and start small but use the same technology, the same tools, the same know-how, the same competence to actually do what you want with the system by introducing new components and I think that's quite important for me to point out. The graphics are compiled using Control Builder. It comes with an extensive library of objects and an extensive symbol library and device library and your whole process will be developed from linked objects which could be as simple as a device, a pump, a motor up to collections of process plant which can be defined as objects. It follows the Windows navigation and operation type usage and it's very easy to use. We actually operate the system using a real-time database. Now this runs in the background and as a background task all of the raw data that's generated by the various sensors and controllers and maybe non-proprietary PLCs are actually sorted and aligned to objects associated with your process. Now this is quite important because it means that that data as a first step, as an automatic background task, is converted into information. I'm taking data to information which makes it convenient and presentable to the end user is an important first step and it, it, it actually adds a lot of clarity in terms of addressing that data in the future and making sense of it. We've got a very high-tech alarm management package built into the HMI package and this enables you to map the way you deal with alarms in the real instance to an alarm management strategy which means that you minimize nuisance alarms, you react appropriately to the most high priority alarms but more importantly you can acknowledge alarms in groups as and when issues are resolved. A very important feature of the system is its connectivity. The system is designed to be versatile, it's designed to interface seamlessly with ABB controllers but in addition to that we have the ability through the inbuilt OPC server which is a fundamental part of the offering to link to other non-proprietary PLC controllers. If you need to connect to non-OPC compliant devices, we, we offer a mechanism to do this via serial communication using Modbus, Comly or Satbus protocols. The AC800M support enables rich information exchange in the case of its interconnection with the AC800M series of controllers. Now, what this means is that we can actually have highly integrated alarm interaction and management features. I'd now like to just switch across to the screen and I'm going to show you a demonstration of something that we call one click to information. Right button on the mouse and we get a secondary menu. This is a sub menu, it's a pick list of aspects that have actually been embedded behind that object. Now these aspects really can be anything you want them to be. It can be anything from remote video through to manuals, through to servicing, through to fault finding trees, through to, let, let's choose one here, uh, this is the electrical drawing showing exactly how that motor has been installed in situ on the plant and that can make available to the operator in real time sitting at his desk in front of the screen a diagram that he may have had to go and go to the drawing registry or route around on the shelf in the back of the control system. It makes it immediately available and it means that he can take action in a timely manner and make recommendations about how to put things right. We have within the system full compliance with the requirements of FDA 21 CFR Part 11. This is a framework of regu regulation that governs the use of computerized systems in a regulated environment and it states that systems have to have the capability to be used and configured in a compliant way to meet the requirements of those regulations and it means all of the functionality associated with 
electronic signatures, security of records, full accountable audit trail logging, so we know who did what, when and why they did it, and it's all captured. That is all catered for in the software. Obviously, there's another benefit associated with the concept that multiple users can log on to our terminals and see bespoke screens and bespoke operator workstations, and this manifests itself uh, via operator logover. We can have operators changing over on a shift. They can log on simultaneously and at some point there'll be a handover from operator A to operator B and this is seamless, there's no breach in the audit trail, we know exactly when it was happened, when it happened, we know where we were up to in the manufacturing process when that change of shift occurred. We also have the ability to introduce and carry out bespoke calculations. So we can take multivariate values that are being generated by field devices or controllers and or, or generated by the process. We can marry these together, we can bring in some bespoke algorithms or calculations and we can represent these back in a flexible format. It could be in the form of a graph, it could be in the form of a calculated value. Now, this is very pow powerful and can be used for many things. A lot of people use this to actually calculate real-time key performance indicators and show them in a way that's easy to access and understand from an operator's perspective. So that, that's quite a useful feature. We have multi-system integration, so we, we've talked about seamless expandability, we've talked about integration, and this actually extends that concept and enables you to link compact HMI 800 through to System 800 XA, which is the higher level PC-based platform that actually is aligned to our DCS. We also have the facility to deliver snapshot reports. So if you're in the middle of a manufacturing operation and something that wasn't predicted, something happens that you didn't expect, then you can generate on-demand snapshot reports and, and actually, hopefully, have enough information to get back on track and put things right and not lose your batch. Thank you for listening. I hope you found that interesting. And uh, maybe we'll talk to you again in the future.